voice diary on April 22. The topic is my training for surfing. I usually do train for surfing. I do four kinds of training. Every morning I do 10 minute indoor training to emphasize my activity and agility, improving balance and power. And also I follow the movement in which I try to make many posture following animal flow. The animal flow is a very effective that the postures a little bit interactive and also is new posture in my body then and my organ, my muscle, and my flexibility and getting improved. So, and then following animal flow is a very good way to improve surfing skills. There are many videos about animal flow. Animal flow is uh, adapted uh, for surfers and then surfing coaches uh, give uh, lessons animal flow to improve surfing skills. And 10 minute indoor training is also including agility that make suffers avoid injuries. It's very important part to care about injuries from the surfing because uh, when we try to surfing to be a good surfer, we challenge the uh, big surf. Big surf makes a uh, big wave and big wave make a uh, strong uh, swells. If we uh, wipe out and then it might be dangerous. So, and also always uh, uh, practice training about the safety. And so, and we should get ready for <coughs> shopping. Uh, uh, we should get ready for surfing for safety. And also, I care about my core strength by standing upside down and getting good posture. And then I will try to stand up with the arm position, but still uh, it's not easy for me to head up with the arms standing and uh, getting balance or as also the, my, the arm pedal is not easy to make up. Okay, then and, um, that is the first step to train the surfing for 10 minute indoor training. After then, uh, I go to skate park, skateboard ball park, and then the ball park is good to train the wave. And now I try to turning and 
recovery uh, by doing that I getting more um, familiar with the moving uh, I expect to when I surfing uh, I can get more balance and then not falling down in the water by doing that I can do enjoy the surfing even the low tide or the bottom of the sea in coral and logs, I can avoid the dangers by getting balanced more and then can do enjoy more. So and then uh, it's like uh, surfing is like uh, uh, aware of a danger many things by doing that and getting more the safe uh, situation and enjoy it. Uh, skate, so skateboarding is a good way to improve uh, surfing posture, getting balance, and then, uh, but the limitation is a uh, very important step by step and getting better, better, keeping the safety rule on the skateboard, how to manage it, how to land off, how to start, and then how to do. Because uh, uh, it's different. Uh, be it's, it might be also dangerous because uh, when I fall down uh, in the speed and then it hit and body is uh, got injured and so and then should the skateboarders should be very careful about that to get the goal the balance and core and keep skateboarding step by step uh, keeping uh, moving uh, smoothly and improving a little bit step by step. And third, when the high tide, uh, I do the uh, sub lacing exercise, a uh, reverse triangle at Malipo Beach, about three kilometer away. And normally I go to the bridge side and then turn left and go to the directly right house and then lighthouse to the deck. And along the beach side, is, there is very calm. I come back. And then that the distance is three kilometer. So and then it's good for me the getting balance and then uh it build up my body uh, for a soft lacing. Soft lacing is uh, need lots of energy. So and then if not uh, practice uh, properly, and then I cannot make the long distance paddling. So, and then every day when it's high tide, uh, the weather is good, I go for a sub uh, lacing. Also, maybe this year at Malipo Beach, if the sub -com competition, I can uh, join. It's uh, unique and interesting. Last year, last year, I joined the, the sub competition. Only four people did it. I the end of sub laser, but it's a good memory about to to uh, try to the best in sub lacing. Okay, so the last step is going for yoga. I ride a bicycle around the. Uh, Beach load, and then I, I reach it the deck side. At the deck side, I ride down and mat yoga, and then I rest, and then I do yoga uh, to make my arm and shoulder strength, and I do push up. 10 push up 
uh, with needle. After then, I tried to uh, upside down and then rest and looking around and making videos. Uh, this is my important routine to improve her surfing skills. There are four steps uh, that make me uh, enjoy sub surfing or surfing and also sub lacing as well. I talk about the four steps to train surfing today. Boy style twist for April 20, focusing on my training for surfing. I usually engage in four types of training every morning. Firstly, I spend 10 minutes on, on indoor training, emphasizing activity, agility, balance, and core improvement. I follow animal flow movement, adapting better posture in part by many animals. And this practice effectively enhances my flexibility and muscle strength. It's crucial for surfers to prevent injury and enhance their skills. Animal flow exercises, specifically tailored for surfers, are readily available online, and the coaches often incorporate them into lessons. Secondly, I help to the state board or state board in the board fight, and practice on lamps to help me simulate wave the movement and the improve to my balance and recovery techniques. This is a formality with the movement patterns aid me in maintaining balance while surfing, even in challenging condition. It allows me to indulge surfing during low tide or in shallow waters while minimizing risk. Thirdly, during high tide, I engage in endurance exercises along Maui Beach and covering Malipo Beach, covering Covering a distance of approximately three kilometers. This routine builds my stamina and balance in a sense of longer surfing session. Last year, I participated in a surf competition, finishing fourth, which was a rewarding experience despite not winning. Lastly, I conclude my training with yoga on the beach. Yoga has strengthened my arms and shoulders, a crucial for paddling and maintaining stability on the board. I also incorporate push-ups into my routine, followed by relaxation and reflection, often capturing moments through videos. These four steps contribute to my enjoyment of surfing and enhance my skills, fostering a sense of acceptance and progress. Training diligently allows me to embrace the challenge of surfing while appreciating its beauty. The end.